Hello, Daz here from Daz Locks. The next lock we have in this series is the 1 in 1 8 uh, space here, shackle, 2.5 inch round body lock. These are the contractor grade locks. Again, this is the home security brand, brought in by Home Hardware. It's got a beautiful shackle on here, boron alloy, it's, boron alloy it says, 7 16 inch dual ball bearing locking and this says maximum pick resistant five pin cylinder they have this on all of their packaging uh, again brought in by home hardware and i got these at princess auto so let's see what home hardware has for maximum pick resistance anyway i'm, I'm using one of my tension bars that i've made for bottom of the keyway tension and I'm using my 32 thousandths thick pick tool that I got from Danu, Danu, however you say it. Because this one, again, has a strong spring, so it requires a lot of tension. So let's see how oh, we can do one. Yep, click on one. I think there was a click on two. I might have overset two. Three. Yeah, click on three, so two should be okay. Four. Yeah, and I think it's turning. We didn't have to touch five at all. Let's get this open. Okay, now let's see. This one sh should be okay because it has two highs in the back protected by a low in the middle. She's locked up again. I'll just show you that this key does work in this lock. It's not a spring-loaded shackle, so you have to pull on it. Let's see how this can stand up to raking. Now I have gotten all of these to work at one point or another, just not all the time. So it's not a guaranteed thing. Come on. Let's reset. Nope. And it's hard to tell sometimes because of the hard. Let's try the Bogota. No, she doesn't want to go today. I've even gotten the flat bar to work for me on this lock, even with the highs and lows that this lock holds. More tension. It seems to grab them. Ooh. Nice couple clicks out of there. Nope, not today, I guess. One thing I have had work, because even though this is a five pin lock, I use a four, three, four comb bar, and I just get past the first pin, and I only push up the back four pins. Well, let me just show you that it's locked. It's locked. Let's push up the back four. Try to get this all the way to the top. You see how it's turning there? Now the trick is <laughs> to be able to hold tension on this and get something else in there to unlock it. No, nope, that's not gonna work. Uh, there's another tension bar here. As long as it grabs. Come on. You have to get to the right spot to open this up. So, oddly enough, the comb bar pushed. Come on, get out of there. The comb bar pushed on the last four pins will unlock this lock. Oh, I guess I should have left it open here. So let's get this out of the way. Let us gut this and see what the pins look like inside. Get my pinning tray, my tweezers, my gut wrench. This one is also a Phillips. Come on. She's strong. Guess we don't need the key right now.
Oop, there we go. There's that. There's the series. Now these ones at least are not of a bypassable design. You can see that this this actuator part is not horizontal, it's vertical. But let's get this going here. So I move the bottom of the clip. I just turn it usually to the bottom part so that it grabs in the bottom of the keyway and then I can just push it out from the top. Just like that. Now we'll need a key. I don't think these are skeletonized cores like those other ones. So we can turn it clockwise a touch and I think it's this size here. Is that the size? I think that's too small. Maybe it's this one. Uh, that's way too big. Gotta be this one. Okay, let's get this out of here. Oh, she doesn't want to go. Let's try the other way, counterclockwise. Something holding us back there. Okay. I'm pretty sure all these pins are standard. Let's have a look here. One. Oh yeah. Very tiny standard. Again, very small standard pins. That one's a little bit bigger. Three. Four is standard. And five is standard. Absolutely nothing odd about the core. These are all standard pins. Let's get the insides out here. The driver pins, I mean. One. Standard. And I think these are all the same length. At least these ones are not chewed up like those other skeletonized cores. These ones are at least half-assed nice and smooth again all the driver pins are exactly the same same size same shape they even have a bit of a bevel on the bottom where they're touching the driving pins which makes the which makes the shear line a little bit bigger but there's your pins all standards top and bottom really short key pins like really really short so these ones were fairly easy to open again they have a really strong spring but uh that is my video thanks for watching